Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly, Animators Forum and RealIllusionForum.com. Anyway, um, so somebody asked, I, I did a tutorial about bringing in wings and doing morphs and all that stuff in iClone, and I did it over a year ago. And uh, so I want to show you the right way of doing it. So somebody might say, Mike, why didn't you show me the right way in the beginning with? Well, I'm always learning, you know, and I, I'm I and I can't even begin to tell you what my thought processes were when I was doing this before. But in any case, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share the way that you should do it now instead. Don't don't pay no attention to the man behind the mirror. Pay no attention to what I did before. So this is a Genesis eight female. And what I've done is I've drug over the Morning Star Gen, Gen eight female wings. Uh, you know, you have her selected, and then you drag the wings over, and it attaches them to her. So there she is. You got the wings, and I exported that. So now in Character Creator, I come over here to, you know... Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I almost forgot the most important part. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done one of these, hasn't it? Uh, since, since my machine crashed, it's been a while. When you export this, go to File and Export. This has a, a ton of different morphs involved to it. So when you go to export it, and I've already done it once, so I'm, yeah, yeah, I'd like to replace it, sure. When you go to export it, you've got to export those morphs for those wings. Now, how you can tell, tell what morphs there are? Well, you click on here, and you can see there's lots of morphs here. And they all start off with the word morning star. Actually, they'll start with morning star wings, but all they need is morning. So what you do, and I've showed you this in other tutorials, is you go in and you add a rule, if you don't already have one, that has the, a word to match that first part of it. So in this case, I just typed in the word morning, and then I did export, and you want to export all those morphs. And so when you say, you know, export, you set it up that way, then here, all those morphs are going to be yes before they would say no, and they'd be yes and they're going to send be sent out uh, without doing anything about them. So all those morphs are going to be sent out. And I should mention this because it, it might come out sometime. You might say, well, Mike, that would be great. Now I can just export all the morphs that are attached to my Genesis 8 female. That's the one thing you can't do. You can export morphs from anything other than an avatar. So clothing, or in this case, wings, or even props, or environments. You can export those morphs. You can't do them from the avatar. I'm I have no idea why you can't. Uh, Real Illusion decided not to let you do that. That's too bad. It would give you a ton of power. So anyway, you'll say accept, and, and the other export settings are all exactly the same. So I've already done that. And then over in Character Creator, we go here, we go to Transformer, and we bring it in as a C33+, Plus because it's a Gen 8 figure. And there it comes. And there we go, the wings. Okay, so now, without doing anything else, we're going to go over here. Oh, I should mention one thing. When I brought these in, I changed this. This was uh, set as clothing, and I brought them in as an accessory. It changes to an accessory. That's not super critical there because you can always change it once it comes in. You can go here and, uh, and I'm getting I'm getting mail here even as we go. You can always go in here and change uh, this to an accessory, but we want this to be an accessory. So when it comes in, change it to an accessory. So then we go here and we go to export and we go to send character to iClone. So what's going to happen in iClone, we have iClone running in the background, and it's going to go ahead and import that character with that accessory attached to it. Okay, So it's all there. So, so far, so good. So now what we want to do is select the accessory that's attached. It's attached to the hip. I'm not even sure that that's where it should be attached to. Maybe the spine is a better place. But in any case, we're going to detach it. So now it's a separate item. It's detached. Okay, you with me so far, please, hopefully. And now we're going to go to Morph Creator. And Morph Creator, which they've kind of improved, it used to be the old days that when you imported an object with morphs that it asked you if you wanted to bring those morphs in. Now it just goes ahead and does it, which is fine. So there's all those morphs. Now, <coughs> excuse me, one thing you might notice is the wings came in at a different position. Uh, we're going to have to reposition the wings, and we're also going to reset the... Um, uh, pivot points that just happens because they're not attached to that character anymore so anyway we have all these morphs here and you can see there's just a there's some morphs that don't do anything so like this morph here doesn't really do anything you can get rid of that one so you can click on it and delete it uh, some of these morphs are more a matter of just a setting it to the character itself see this fits it to that character not really a very useful morph you can delete them you can go through and delete all the ones you don't want to use but there's a ton of useful morphs as you can see there's the wings go up 
and they go up in different directions and different ways and they're dramatic and they come around to the front there and just all kinds of of uh, and their wings go down and so you have all these things you can delete the ones you don't need but otherwise you're going to send and replace a tie clone you can also update the morph but i always like to send and replace so now back in the iClone here we actually have that item here and it's sent and it's a duplicate item uh, i've already done this before so i have a more than one duplicate uh, so it's a duplicate item so we're going to delete the the duplicate of the other item and then this item is now uh, actually i'm going to i'm going to back up a little bit i'm not going to delete i'm going to delete the one i already hit before it's it's a duplicate item but it doesn't match up to this we're going to get rid of that original item but in the meantime we can use it to kind of reposition this item so first thing we want to do is go to modify and because we've detached it it's lost its pivot point and you'll see the pivot point if you look at this thing is not really positioned correctly we really want that pivot point more centered so the first thing we'll do is we'll center that pivot point that's fine Got that centered. So now what we'd like to do is kind of align those wings to the other wings. And you can do a little bit of alignment this way. You can do align to these wings. You can go X, and Y, and Z. But you notice they don't, you can even try the center. It gets it a little closer. But in reality, you're just going to have to eyeball this. So uh, we're going to get here. And uh, I mean, you could probably do these 90 degrees and it would be perfect. But uh, let's get it matched up. I think we're about right on the height here. Let's see if we're about right. Actually, that looks pretty close, doesn't it? Interesting. So just kind of move this a little bit in this way. Pretty close. Okay, but anyway, you can get it as close as you want. And then once you've got it matched up to where you want, then in the scene, you can get rid of the original wings. Okay, so now we have those new wings, and then the last thing we want to do with those wings is we want to attach them to her so that when she moves in different places, that the wings will move with her just like she was attached to before. So again, we're going to pick the parent, and I think this upper spine, this base 2 spine, is actually the better place to attach it, but you can experiment with that. And uh, so, so then what do you do at this point in time? Well, we've got, it, we've got them attached. Whoops. Oh, and we also had the animation there. Let's uh, get rid of the animation okay now we're okay um so now we have them attached to her if she moves the wings will move and now we can go ahead and animate the wings so with the wings selected you can go over here in the morph animator and then as the various animations come up you can animate it along the timeline so as she moves along the timeline we can we can animate the wings to do various things here kind of be artistic and like that and then come down here and maybe Bring that wing there and come here with you gotta be a little careful about combining the animations, the morphs, because sometimes by combining the morphs you can get a, a very odd looking sort of uh, thing. So you have to kinda kinda learn like you're playing with it, but we'll play there and then we'll come over here and then we'll bring the wings down. Okay. So now we got all of that in there and if we play this back it'll do all those wings but now just to make sure that everything's working correctly we're going to go over here and we're going to give some motion to her and make her dance so we'll have her dance too so now she dances and her wings move whoops except uh <laughs> we didn't get them attached there let's, let's try attaching them again not for sure we had them attached uh modify oh I, oh, that's because I <laughs> I removed the, the linkage instead of the animation. Sorry. Pick parent here. I didn't attach them. I did a link. And the reason that, that that disappeared is I removed the animation, and so therefore it removed the link there for that animation. So anyway, that sort of thing. And so there we go. And you notice her hands go through the wings. So when you were doing motions, you'd want to make sure that the motions... Uh, don't necessarily uh, screw up with the wings. But anyway, this is the right way to bring all the wing morphs over instead of the other way that I had, which is much more cumbersome and uh, a lot less uh, useful. So hopefully this, <laughs> this helps, and we'll see you around the forums.